So our hope is on this 21 day journey of fasting and prayer, we not only want to encourage you with these video devotionals, we want to provide opportunities every weekday at 6.30 a.m. The Vineyard facility is going to be open and we want to invite you to come and pray, come and press in with uh, the people of the Vineyard and to see what God might actually do in your life and in our city. As you're saying no to yourself through fasting and prayer, what you're actually doing in part is saying yes to God. And one of the ways you say yes to God is by praying big prayers. In fact, listen to Ephesians 3.20. He says this, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we ask or imagine. So there are a couple implications for your prayers, my prayers during this season. First, ask big. Your imagination doesn't have the capacity to dream up what God could do in your life and in our city. Now, this doesn't mean God is uninterested in small prayers. He is. He's intimately involved of the details of your home and your health and your life and even in your pets. But the prayers that bring the most glory to God are the prayers that will be able to shine a light on His power and His majesty. So pray big today. The second big implication is this, is pray big prayers found in the scriptures. So this isn't to say you can't pray that the University of Alabama is gonna win a national championship. I know some of you are already praying that. It's fine, but a real God-glorifying, God-sized prayer may be the things God has already laid out plainly and lovingly in the scriptures. You might begin to pray Psalm 96, declare the glory of God among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all peoples. In other words, God, use me in the nations to bring the gospel. Or pray, God, your kingdom come, your will be done. Meaning, I'm gonna pray that you would make me a vessel to bring the kingdom fullness of Jesus to my work, to my home, to my relationships. See, the point is simply this, pray big and watch God answer big today.